Welcome back, everyone. Right now, we're covering part two of Quarto Basics, and we're looking at images. As always, if you haven't done it, like this video, and please consider subscribing to the channel to get even more content around data and design. So let's get into it. On our Quarto document, which you can check out how to make in previous videos, uh, in this document, we currently have a header for our images, just a really simple header. And then we have headers below that to designate the different uh, sections where we cover different types of ways to work with images. So if you just want an image in your Quarto document, the only thing you have to do is an exclamation point, a couple of square brackets, and a couple of parentheses. So between the square brackets, you'll write the caption for your image, and then between the parentheses, you'll have the path to your image. Now, in my case, I have an image called bridge.png, and I have it stored inside of a folder called IMG for image. And so that command will bring up an image in the section underneath this header. If you go on down the page a little bit, we can see that we can link an image. And the way that you do that is you wrap that whole command for the image in square brackets and then add another section after it in parentheses holding the URL for the page you want to visit. So here we see the first part of what uh, I had written for just the image that's wrapped in square brackets and then we can see additionally behind that more parentheses with a URL. So it's very similar to the structure of the image itself actually. And then below that, uh, you may want to put a pop-up description so when your users hover over an image with their mouse, they can see a little bit of text. And the way that you do that is in the parentheses with your URL, you simply add some text in quotes. So here I just have some text that says a bridge. And that's wrapped in quotes, and that's inside of the URL um, link that I used uh, used at the end of the image. If you want to use alt text with your image, which is great for accessibility, you can do that as well. Just note that that is inside of curly brackets, uh, inside of that first large block of square brackets at the end. So you have your opening square bracket, your exclamation, your square brackets around your uh, caption text, then you have the path in parentheses, and then you have your alt text in these curly braces. And then after that, you have your URL. Uh, what you need to be aware of, though, here we have the text fig-alt, uh, and then that relates to the figure alt text, and that is set to equal, and then your text in quotes after that. So you can just follow that, and you'll get some alt text. So let's see how this looks in the, uh, in the rendered image. So to do that, again, I like to have render on save checked because it makes things a little bit easier. And then we can just click save and then see the, uh, the render pop up in a browser. So here we see it. We have our title, Quarto Markdown Basics Part 2. We have our header to images. Then we have um, the commands that are written here as instructions. But then we see the actual output of those commands below that. So we see our bridge image. We have our caption. This is a photo of a bridge. Below that, we have more commands and more examples. And this one is linked. This image is linked. You can tell that the, the cursor changes shapes a little bit. And then uh, below that, we have a linked image with a pop-up description. So when you hover over that image, you'll see the, the preview text pop up, and it says a bridge. And then below that, we have an image with alt text in it. So uh, that's really it for how to work with images in Quarto, at least on the most simple level. So stay tuned to this channel for more content related to Quarto. Thanks.